Yo, what is going on, sweet failure? So I got a special request for, how did I get my first Annie and my first torch? So that's what I'm bringing you today. So right here, I'm going out to get my first Annie. For some reason, I just can't locate the fanaticism aura. The one I'm looking to use here with Smite, that's actually Salvation, dummy. Uh, nope, that's not it either. And that's Defiance, dummy. Well, five minutes later, I eventually, wait a second, wait for it, move back to Salvation. But they, oh, oh, there we go, fanaticism. So this is my go-to location right here. Come out through the portal and sanctuary, arcane sanctuary, head out to where fire eyes usually is. Here I go ahead and cast life tap. And this is one point fanaticism, one point into smite because this is a fist of the heavens paladin. I didn't even go get like great gear for nothing. I'm still rocking my Shaco. Still got like a Rectus mesh on, some Nagle rings. All I did, is, I believe is throw on gore riders and then just started slapping. So declone is kind of that easy. And this is how I got my first Annie. And lucky for me, it didn't go too bad. My mercenary didn't die. It didn't cost me a lot of gold or anything. Gets a little slow down towards the end, but yeah, really declone relative to things like Ubers, really not that difficult at all. And for a first Annie, how did it roll? 2015-7, noise. So after I showed you the first one, you know what? I figured why not just show you the second one? They are spawning left and right here nowadays. So I got a little bit better gear on. You see, I got a G face up there. I believe I might have a High Lords on. We've got uh, some of those laying of hands, you know, pretty much just the increased attack speed. And we're gonna head out to the same spot if I go to, life tap, wand them up, and go ahead and slap them down again. And it goes a little bit faster. And to be honest, I thought it'd go even faster considering I had significantly more gear pieces that were better. It did go probably about 25% faster. So once again, easy peasy, taking D clone right out. And the second one we're rolling with here, and the lag because we're on the European server, 2011-5. And now, the real fun begins. I'm going to go ahead and farm up a torch with this Fist of the Heavens Paladin. And remember, only one point into Smite, one point into Fanaticism. It's all I'm using. Of course, a lot of it's made up with the gear, but I kind of just yolo into it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I knew some things you want to get Crushing Blow, Open Wounds, Deadly Strike, things along those lines. But... You can see I still got the Shaco sitting up on my dome up there, but I've got a few pieces on pretty much the same stuff that I had used originally in the very first D clone kill. So I do have like Gore Riders. I do have the laying of hands there, you see. But yeah, I didn't really do a whole lot. It's just life tap wand, one point smite, one point fanaticism and slap away. So even coming out to Duril though, I started to get a little bit of alarmed. Now this was a little bit more of a struggle than I had anticipated. He just kept uh, regening as soon as he get down to a little sliver. I don't know if he had 100 health or something. And then he'd start regening up, even though I, you know, I had open wounds and stuff like that on this particular character. But, you know, just keep slapping, 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 slapping away. And eventually uh, I got enough probably deadly strikes there to eventually take him out. Now, Andariel here or Lilith, excuse me, was a little bit more of a struggle. Now. I just went straight at it, just YOLO'd in, uh, per usual, kind of my go-to here in Diablo 2. This is softcore after all. And we're attacking away, and you see all my full rejuves went away. Probably should have cleared all the additional monsters around. Oops, my bad. So I went ahead and uh, asked somebody in the chat, hey, can you hold that game for me real quick? I'm gonna save an exit, come back in my body. So we went ahead and took care of that. So don't pull that fill maneuver and be a complete noob. Actually prepare, actually try your best when you go out there and don't just think it's gonna be a cakewalk, just a little old walk in the park. So here I decided, hey, maybe I'll actually clear some of these monsters out. Hey, why don't you actually play it smart, Phil, instead of just yoloing around the entire game forever. So I go ahead and take care of these ones right here and eventually Andario will follow me out. Lilith, excuse me, not Uber Andario, Lilith. And we go ahead and eventually we do go ahead and get her down, get that Diablo's horn. And of course, the first torch I farm, it can't be easy, can it? Here, uh, this is what, Uber Izul or whatever. He's, of course, trapped into a bazillion monsters. So here I am uh, clearing some of them out and then just like slapping them, slapping them. You see, he actually got glitched in the corner up there. Pretty funny. So he was stuck in that corner for a while while I cleared most of the add-ons and eventually take him out without too much trouble. Really, all the extra monsters around was the problem. Now, here we go into Uber. Tristram and once again here we are uh, bringing Mephisto over here and I'm clearing some of the ads probably a, not a terrible idea but he can't just go ahead and revive him up no problem so eventually we get him here we're slapping him slapping him make sure our life taps going make sure our battle orders are up and we do eventually get him down it actually went a little bit easier than I had anticipated with Mephisto because he is quite the challenge 
clear some of those ads just in case, just in case, and we get bail right here. So this is a little trick. You can kind of trap some of the add-ons outside of the building right here. You can use this for any of them. I went ahead and used it for bail here, and you know, it worked okay. He teleports in, and then once again, here is Diablo, and as you can tell, I just dove in and YOLO'd, and oh man, <laughs> my left life tap ran out, and I had to teleport away real quick and go ahead and life tap him back up. And then once again, his health regen almost completely in that amount of time. But you know what? I decided to dive in and get after it once again here and smack, smack, smack. And eventually, eventually this time he does go down. There is that torch, that wonderful, beautiful torch that I was hoping for. Now, the mega important thing is how is this going to roll? What am I going to get? And whoa. Can't be much happier. Obviously, you could have higher res and attributes, but Sorcerer's Torch is the most valuable one here on ladder. So I was definitely happy to get that. And I eventually did do some trading and stuff like that and got a really, really, really good Paladin Torch for this Sorcerer's Torch right here.